Well, one jockey here has literally taken the racing world by storm during the last few seasons. It's Freddie Talicki. Fellow jockey Natalia Gemalova caught up with Freddie at Southern Racecourse recently and asked him what have been the highlights during the current campaign. Uh, well, I'd have to say it's been a successful and fruitful year all around. So uh, definitely the five time I was the icing on the cake. Um, on that day I, I had five rides and it was for five different trainers as well. So I was very pleased to to do that and to achieve that in my career it's probably just a once off but at least I, I can say I've done it you know. Not so long ago your career was under threat following the injury. Does the experience keep you grounded in terms of never taking success for granted? Definitely uh, any jockey pro could probably tell you the same I mean it's quite tough when you're out of the saddle for eight months uh, you know you're sort of not knowing whether or not you'll be back in the saddle or what have you but Look, if you're fully committed to this game and you, you, you know you want to do it, then you put everything in that you can get back into the saddle and, and be successful and try and make a living out of this game. Uh, as you know, we only have X amount of years in it, so you know you have to be uh, as quick as possible getting back into the saddle. So I, I try to do that, you know. I've got 67 winners again, but I've had some nice winners this year. I think I, I rode four licit winners, had a couple of rides in Group 1s. And, um, you know, you're obviously trying to improve and trying to work on your style year in, year out, because, you know, you can never really fall asleep here because once you snooze, you lose, you know. I'm very fortunate that I've got some, uh, some great trainers to ride for up north, southern trainers and, and northern trainers. Um, look, you never know what's going to happen in this game. You never know what's around the corner. Um, so, you know, whatever job offer you, you would get, you'd have to consider it at the time and think about it, you know. Who was your inspiration as a youngster growing up? My father. My father was a three-time champion jockey in Germany. So I was literally born into this game. And from a very early stage, I, I knew what it was all about and how tough it can be and how busy the, the lifestyle is really, because uh, literally during the season, you don't have a lot of time for, for nothing really. And um, yeah, I was, I was born into it and I knew exactly what you had to do really to get to the top and to keep going at the top as well, you know? I so. Got a, a, from an early age, I got a great flair for the game, and you know it's just it's great to be part of it. And I mean, horse racing is all about adrenaline and the strength of the horses, and you know the the money that's in it and everything about it. So uh, I would say uh, I'm in for the love of the game. If you, you know? could change one thing in the racing, what would it be? Uh, I'd probably attract a younger crowd going to the races. Um, I I would advertise more in schools and, and, and colleges and that um, trying and, and get the younger crowd going to the race because that's the future for our industry and you know if, if those young people don't know about it uh, well then the tradition won't be kept uh, and won't be you know won't be held on to so I'd, I'd focus on them and try and get them to go and maybe you know give them free admissions and you know all things like that so uh, I'd be focusing on that because that's the future for racing.